this punk ass nigga and this bitch, they always following me on my social medias, trying to see what I'm doing, trying to see if they can sabotage it. Bitch ass nigga, I don't fuck with you no more, nigga. You know who you is. Stop following me, nigga, and stop coming behind my back. Every time I talk to somebody, I reach out to somebody trying to uh, poison them. Narcissistic ass bitch ass nigga. Every time you see me talking, to, oh, he doing that? Oh, he making a move with that? Let me tell you a slick thing a narc would do. Sometimes if they see you fucking with somebody and they don't want you fucking with them, they'll try to ease up on that person, fake friend them and shit, and then slander your ass on the cool. They'll do it in a slick way where the person won't know they're doing it. You know what I mean? It'll be some shit like, uh, it'll be like, oh, you fuck with, you fuck with Mike? Oh, okay, that's cool. I mean, even though Mike be, you know, he got that thing with kids and stuff, but it, it's cool. And the person might be like, what? What you mean this thing with kids? Oh, you didn't know Mike? He, he like touching kids and stuff. Nobody knows. Don't nobody say nothing because, you know, but it's cool. Like, they'll spread a rumor like that. How can anybody fuck with a person that touch kids? You know what I mean? So you might be looking like, damn, why this motherfucker don't fuck with me like that no more? You know what I mean? It's because that narcissistic ass hater done went up to that person behind your back, you know what I mean, and try to sabotage your relationship out of jealousy. You know what I mean? They do that shit. The male and the female narcissists do that shit. But that was just my little intro. I made this video to say a lot of people be wondering, they be wondering, like, why do everybody side with narcissists when these corrupt, wicked, lying, fake, thieving, personality stealing uh orig lacking originality energy vampire ass motherfuckers like why do people be siding with them you know what i mean why do people still <clears throat> be rocking with them and shit against you knowing your character and people be knowing you solid and shit people be knowing you ain't did a goddamn thing to them people know you ain't never told a lie none of those crazy ass shit like that right but they will still turn against you in favor of the narcissist. Why is that? The reason why they do that, brother, sister, is because from day one, the minute you met that narc and introduced yourself or let them come around you, they had one agenda to steal your personality traits, steal your energy, copy you, and turn everybody who got love for you against you. From day one, that was the plan. Now, it probably... No, they didn't. They, they they always did that. They was always slandering you behind your back. It don't matter. You was covering up all their mistakes and weaknesses and false, uh, all that um, negative demonic shit that they was doing. You was covering that shit up because you didn't want people to know that this person was kind of weak. You know what I mean? And that you was rocking with a person so weak like that, that you was constantly having to build up and shit. A lot of that shit, they was faking weak. You know what I mean? A narcissist will fake like they can't cook just so you cook all the food and shit. They'll pretend like they don't know how to do something just so you can do it. And then you'll look when you're away from them and they feel like they done stole from you and got everything they got from you. And you'll look at them like, where the fuck that shit come from? Well, they've been knowing how to do that. But as long as they can use you and exploit you, then they'll just exploit you. You know what I mean? They're energy vampires. They're always looking for somebody to... um. How can I come up off this person, that person? What do I have to do? What personality do I have to have? What smile do I like? They be looking like they desperately need a motherfucker's energy. You know what I mean? So they will become whatever person they have to become. And they also steal people's uh, personalities who are genuine, solid. They'll be copying and mimicking certain parts of that person's uh, personality so that people will accept them. They'll even be trying. I heard this nigga try to talk to his girl like the way I talk to females that I fuck with. That's when I knew this nigga sick. I got to get the fuck away from this nigga. I ain't never fucking with that nigga again. Y'all know the nigga. I'll never fuck with y'all's homeboy. That nigga's. That nigga right there is fucking trash, nigga. Um, but yeah, bro, narcissists. They were turning people against you. And you got to hear this from other people. Other people will, when it's all said and done, come back and tell you what they were saying. And it'll fuck you up. What they were doing and saying behind your back. Nigga, they were trying to destroy your ass behind your back while you had love for them. You know what I mean? 
So from day one, the narcissist was turning people against you real slick. I'm going to say this too. This is for the fellas because women do this shit a lot to men. It's a tactic. It's a narcissistic tactic that women use on men so that when a relationship ends, your family and her family will be on her side against you, the man. Let me tell you what women will do. When you get in the know a woman and you take her around your family and you leave or you're not around her and your family, she's going to drop something. She's going to say something to make it seem like she's having some difficulties or problems with you, but it's not that major yet. So she might be like, like your family might be like, girl, so so what's up? Where'd you meet Greg? She'll bust out and say some shit like, uh, you know, I met Greg at the uh, grocery store with his crazy self. You know what I mean? And your family might, the family might think it's just a light little joke or something. Might be like, yeah, you know, Greg is crazy, girl. But how y'all doing? I'm glad y'all, and I'm glad to see y'all rock. Now, she done already planted that seed. I'm dealing with Greg's crazy self. So that next time she, next time that she's around your family and she's having issues with you, she can say some shit like, yeah, y'all know what I'm dealing with. Y'all know he crazy. Woo, woo, woo. And the family is just like, uh, since we always talk in the West, women is right and all this old shit. They're going to be like, yeah, yeah, Greg is kind of. Knowing nobody's perfect, narcissists use all of your imperfections and they weaponize that shit. They, 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 it'd be stupid shit. Like you see him cussing on his videos. Yeah, he's abusive. He cusses. And people will be like, yeah, he do be cussing in his videos. So he, he must be a raging maniac. And the narcissist be like, see, bro, they are so, so so slick. You got to be in a dealt with one of these motherfuckers to know what I'm talking about. If you dealt with one, you know what I'm talking about. If you didn't, you probably looking at me like I'm crazy. You looking at this video like, what the fuck is this dude talking about? You know what I mean? But when you dealt with one of these demonic motherfuckers, you know what I'm talking about. So one reason that they are able to turn people against you is because from day one, they were always looking at who might already be against you. Like, you got family and so-called friends and shit who not really for you, but you think they for you. Well, when you got this narcissist with you, the narcissist is looking for people who are not really for you. And those are the people that they're going to hurry up and get to be on their side or uh, uh, have an allegiance with whenever y'all um, begin to have issues or beef or fallout or if it's a relationship, it's a divorce or some breakup or some shit like that. The narc was already looking at people who were in your corner, who they can turn against you. This is how they isolate you. You know what I mean? They were doing it from day one. When y'all was on good terms and y'all was cool and shit, they was turning people against you. They was taking credit for the work that you do. They was telling people that they pay all the bills when they don't pay the bills. They was telling people they fix the car when you fix the car. They was telling people that they produce the music or uh, are responsible for all the uh, ideas and concepts when you did it. They were taking credit for everything that you were doing good and everything toxic and fucked up and bad that they was doing. They was telling people you was doing that. So that's why people looking at you crazy.